Now the nesting of resources can get pretty deep, especially since we're allowed to nest things and things. So we could put rides inside of services inside of churches because ultimately we want to know the rides for a particular service for a particular church and so we can nest that deeply and if we followed that along we would get something that looked uh, something well this would now be service id and this would be rides and id right and if we kept nesting it would get quite deep and there are many websites where this type of, of nesting is, is useful. Think of blogs with posts, with comments, and, and threaded comments and so forth like that. So that can get pretty nasty. So that is not what we want to do. So I'm going to undo that because I don't want to promote that. We, what more often than not is is what we are encouraged to do is is called shallow nesting i'm going to write that right here because there are times when this part of the url i'll just uh, highlight this is all we need. Once we've created a service, it has a church ID. So we don't need to continue to include the church ID and it's actually room for an error where the service in the database says a church ID is one value and the church ID in the URL is a different value. They don't match and you have to check for that. So with shallow nesting, once we have associated a specific church with a specific service, we are no longer going to include this uh, first part. And we're going to shallowly nest these only when it's uh, necessary. So when, when might we be able to take advantage of shallow nesting? Well, the, the answer to that is for any action where we already have the information for the church ID. So that is our show action for showing a specific service or our edit and update actions where we are modifying the service and then finally our destroy action where we are deleting the service. In all four of these action cases we already know that the church ID for that service because we've created it we've associated it with that church id and so in these four actions the url will simply be slash services slash colon id um, but there are some cases where we can't get rid of that and so our url is going to look and i'm going to show you notice i'm taking off the the colon id right here where we actually do need the nesting because we we don't know the id yet and so that would be for the index action where we want to list all of the services for a particular church of course we don't know the service id because we have multiple service ids but we do know the church id that we want to to list those services for or the new and create methods for when we're first making a service. We don't have an ID yet because it doesn't exist. They uh, need to have the church ID so that we can associate that new service with a particular ID. Uh, and so once it's done, then we can move over to, to these actions and use that non-shallow nested. And this is going to make our URLs a lot more usable and um, easy to make and understand because we only in include the, the one level of nesting. Even if we added rides in here, we would never have to list the churches along with services and rides because if we know the service that we want to add a ride to, then we automatically know the church 
that that service is associated with. So uh, it would only ever get this level deep in, in these three cases right here. Now the cool thing is how we add shallow nesting. As I've described it right here in your config slash uh, uh, routes.rb file, you do this do end and, and that's the end of it. But what we want to do, since this is shallow nesting, I'll do it this way, is add a parameter right here. So what we'll do, put a comma in here, and between that comma and the do, we say shallow colon true. And that is going to go right here so that we say we are going to shallow, shallowly nest our services within the churches. And so it's going to break up our uh, restful actions and to those that, that need the church ID and to those that don't. And so in our next video, we're going to actually see this take place and, and look at how the um, URLs actually look from Rails perspective.